Welcome to a special lunchtime Techie Tuesday. Um, today I'll be doing a design along in Artisan 6 and um, it's the third Tuesday of the month and most third Tuesdays of the month I have um, a Daughters of the American Revolution meeting um, in the evening. So hello Faith. Um, so uh, instead of doing something pre-recorded, I decided it's more fun to go live, and so I'll have a um, in the in the feed drawing as I have been doing in 2023 for those of you watching live. And um, this Techie Tuesday will be a great resource for any of my digital uh, friends because I'm going to do lots of things today. I'm gonna to be downloading um, digital art from Creative Memories. I'll show you how to import that into Artisan. We're gonna make a two page spread using a sketch from the, the Creative Memories for the, um, the We're gonna do a My internet will um cooperate i saw i just blacked out there for a second and i don't know we got gremlins already now <sighs> it's good times um so hopefully we will go off without a hitch today there is a lot that we're going to do. So let me just jump right in to our announcements. I do have an in the feed drawing today. So thank you. Those of you who are joining me in your lunch um, hour here, you must be in the feed to win the drawing and the drawing will be for $10. You can um, request it as a CM credit, um, something that I have in my inventory or a forever gift certificate or heritage makers publishing points. So your choice, um, since we've got some digital uh, ladies joining us today, of course, if you would like it um, forever or heritage makers or creative memories, either of those three um, for your digital content or publishing, uh, you may do that. Um, last call. Um, <clears throat> so the for the end of January and for the whole month of February, I've been offering um, a special Creative Memories Advisor opportunity meeting for anyone who's interested in a side hustle. Um, maybe something just to uh, pay for your scrappy habit. Uh, so if you'd like inf more information about that, I have been a Creative Memories Advisor since uh, July 2000. So almost 23 years here. It's been a blast. And um, just for the opportunity to get some information, you can get the new Woven Scallop BMC, which is just available for advisors uh, for me for $9.75. Um, the Adhesive Buffet ends today at noon central, which is 1 p.m. Eastern. So I still do have the items um, that were originally published um, and were sold out. So if you are interested in that, next Tuesday during my live, I will do drawings for those two pens and the sticker pack. Um, since most people, unless you're an advisor like me selling to a bunch of people, that you probably didn't buy eight plus of the limited edition adhesive. So as I've done in the past for promos, um, I've got an extra set and I will be giving that away um, to the people that have ordered from the adhesive buffet. So stuff like strong grip, uh, tape runner, I'll post again as a reminder that today is the last day to um, put in your requests and then you'll be entered to win one of these three items. Um, so look for a post later today from that if you are a uh, person that uses adhesive. <laughs> Uh, the February cards, I published uh, the, a picture of these um, on Sunday. These are the cards we'll be making. I use the Positive Vibe paper pack from Creative Memories. 
um, that was part of a promo, but then it went um, on sale to advisors. It's beautiful paper, and those are going to be a lot of fun. You might recognize the butterfly at the bottom. That was from the secret box. And by the way, I still have one secret box. It's available on my website for sixty-seven fifty, but I'm still I have one left that I can sell at the discounted price. Um, so if you're interested in that secret box, let me know. Project recipe is in a couple weeks, two weeks from today, March 7th. This is the recipe we'll be doing. So you can grab your paper supplies and uh, join me for a project recipe, March 7th. And then the registration is open. This is 25% full, but actually I just realized that slide is from last week. So we've had more people sign up since I announced that. So it's probably about maybe 35% full at this point. So don't delay if you plan on um, attending. Now, because it does sell out, um, I you know will likely have a waiting list. And people always say, well, what happens if I can't make it? Well, because um, this event, like the Jumpstart January one to benefit the local veterans, is a fundraiser. All of that money goes to, um, <laughs> yes, Casey. Um, sure, Faith, you absolutely can. Um, uh, if you're unable to attend, then all of that money from your registration just goes to the foundation. So, all righty. And many thanks if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're a digital, uh, scrappy digital diva, then you um, will want to subscribe to my YouTube channel because uh, everything is in playlists. So you can go to my Techie Tuesdays and you'll see them all in one playlist. And if you do my card classes, you'll want to subscribe as well because sometimes it's really hard to find old card classes, um, past card classes on Facebook because you have to scroll, scroll, scroll through so many um, Tuesday events and lives and whatever. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, same as Facebook, Daytona Area Scrapbooking, um, then everything is arranged in playlists. So you can go right to my card kit playlist. And then if you're um, catching up on some old card kits, that's the easiest way to find it. So those of you just jumping in, hello, hi, Kathy. Um, hi, Karen. If um, all you have to do is comment, and those of you that have said hi have already done that, and like this post, and you will be entered in the in the feed drawing. It says tonight. It's actually today. So we're going to do that at the end of the live today, and you do need to be present to win. And if you missed it, I am going to be covering a lot today. So this is going to be, a, if you're a digital person, scrapbooker, this is going to be a great tool for you to go back and resource. Hey, Jen, um, because it's going to have a lot of stuff, importing digital content from CM, um, building a page using a sketch for the virtual crop, and uh, it, lots of fun stuff. So let's get to it, shall we? I think the easiest way for me to do this, um, <laughs> yes, this was going to be a great one, maybe not to do along with me, but to, um, but to, um, go back and resource. Okay. So, so that looks a little crazy right now. Um, Hopefully, I know you're seeing my whole screen. You know how I am. I forget to like uh, switch and uh, change screen, <laughs> change the screen I'm sharing, and then I don't realize, and y'all are missing stuff. So, Justin, um, for this first part, I'm going to um, to stay full screen. Hopefully you can see everything. Okay. So I'm logging into my creative memories account. Once I do that, and if you haven't made an account, you can do that. There's a link on my Daytona area scrapbooking.com page. Um, it's under trusted products and you'll find a link to my creative memories, uh, page. Um, once you're in there, you, you'll go to create digital photo albums, and then you'll see digital artwork. That's where you're going to find all of the digital versions of all of the Creative Memories paper and stickers. So if it's available in paper, it's available in digital. So these are 
um, the newest um, digital kits and they should look familiar. Now this over here on the left, the digital burlap and lace, that was the secret box, contents of the secret box. Of course, the secret box had paper versions of those. If you're a digital scrapbooker and you're interested in that, you can purchase the digital version. Um, and I love all these food, digital good eats and treats elements. Um, there's, you know, coffee and sushi and all kinds of fun stuff. But um, the one that I'm looking for, actually, I already purchased and it right now it's advisor only um, because it's part of the National Scrapbook Day artwork. Um, so as soon as that launches for everyone, um, then you will be able to um, to access that. So I'm going to go over on the left hand side of my account and I'm going to go look for the digital NSD 2023 art kit. So you can see all the other art kits that I've purchased. Um, and I have oh, nine pages of artwork. I might you might have a problem with digital art if you have nine pages. Yeah, that would be me. Um, so I've downloaded that. I haven't downloaded it before. I was waiting to do this with you. Um, and excuse me, StreamYard. All right. right. So now I'm going to come into Artisan. It is a bit of a, um, I'm, my computer is pretty fast, but, um, I'm going to go ahead. I have the project open. I'm going to close it because I'm adding content to the program. So here on my welcome screen in the top left, I'm going to go to uh, manage content. And when it's something you download from Creative Memories, it um, it's considered a personal art kit, not a commercial art kit, even though you um, even though you purchased it. It's a little confusing. So up at the top of your screen, you'll see a create art kit and you can actually put it anywhere. It doesn't have to go in the personal art kits. I'm going to call it um, NSD 2023 and it's a whole lemon theme, but um, I'm going to, and then I'm putting it in my creative memories art kits. That's where I keep all of my art kits. I used to have them separated, um, but now I just thought, why am I going from folder to folder? So once you're in this page, you will want to, I'm going to import. So it says up here on the top left, add, and then it has paper embellishments and all that good stuff. Now I need to come back to my downloads. And here is the CM NSD kit, and I'm going to extract all. You have to extract it before you can pull the items into, um, into Artisan. So now I'm going to go get paper. So I'm going to click on paper, and I'm going to go back to my downloads, and it's going to be the top one. And then you'll see folders. So I have 12 by 12 um, paper. Um, there's project recipe paper and elements. So I'm going to select all the paper and hit open. And it's going to load into the software. Then I'm going to hit paper again because there were two papers. I'm going to go up a couple level up a level. Here's the paper for that was that will be in the project recipe for this kit. So it's really fun spring colors. Like I said, it has a lemon theme. Now I'm going to switch over here to the embellishment tab and click on embellishments. Go up a couple, click into the elements, select all of these elements, and then hit open. And then those are going to load in. And while that's loading in, because it's going to, I want you to be able to see me and I want to be able um, 
to share just that screen and read the comments. Okay, good. So no one has any questions so far. That's good stuff. And um, now I'm going to shut down Artisan just so that the um, the page the the kit the kits refresh. And so far, if anyone has any questions so far, you can ask. Have you um, used uh, my videos um, or anything to import uh, um, videos or anything, my YouTube videos to import content from um, creative memories into art, um, artisan six. Has anyone done that before? Or is this new for you? How, how many of you, of you, um, use, um, use artisan already? I know some of you on here, um, you yes AC do okay good well you will um it the more you use it um obviously the um the easier it will be Okay, good, Karen. Um, all right, sorry, I'm just waiting now. I have to relaunch Artisan and with StreamYard going. I'm gonna get off this extra web page too. Of course, best laid plans. I love that my daughter is home, working from home. Um, but then we have to share the bandwidth, which, you know, is always fun for me. <laughs> when we're vying, when she's on Zooms uh, to New York City, and I am by myself. This is another good thing about going back to, um, to these digital um, Becky Tuesdays is that you can um, fast forward <laughs> through stuff. All right. Let's see if StreamYard will just let me share um, the artisan screen. I might have to go back to sharing the entire screen. I hate that because then I can't see y'all. I can't see your comments. Otherwise, I go down into this deep um, hole. Well, it helps if Artisan's open. I thought I opened it. I must have opened it, closed it. I don't know what I did. <sighs> I thought this was something that was fixed. Sorry, please stand by. This is valuable. Oh, oh, wait. It came up and then it went away. Wait, here it comes. Okay. Alrighty. So... Well, I went ahead and made up. Hopefully, this is all working now. Yes. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to open an existing project. I just created it. It's called um, Memory Maniacs because I'm going to be doing the retreat to the pictures. So let me go into, these are all my projects. There's a million of them. Memory Maniacs Retreats open 
and all right now we're now we're good I jinxed it. It was opening. Come on now. Ah, technology. See, when I do things in parts, <laughs> it's not all this opening and closing business while i'm streaming live it's a little much well might be something that um all right and karen you're new to digital don't let this scare you most of you do not have a live going on at the same time as you're trying to um to scrapbook and hopefully i did um usually when a computer is kind of bogged down and glitchy um and it's a tuesday it could be that there is a update a microsoft update which is really exciting when you're trying to go live on tuesdays okay so our we've got our um we have we have we have our thing, our, what am I trying to share here? And now I'm trying again. Goodness, does this feel like my first live ever? Well, I wanted to show you where I went on the blog. So this is under the February 2023 virtual crop. And I'm going, I did this one in paper, if you remember last week on my tool time. So this is the, um, this one right here, challenge number four is what I want to, um, is what I want to I'm gonna use my snipping tool here, which you may not be able to see, to snip a piece of this and save it. And why am I doing that? And that's just basically, so I don't have to go back and forth to, um, uh, to this website when, um, when I wanna look at the design. So now I can stop sharing this, close that so we don't have um, extra things open. And then I can go back to Artisan, which hopefully will open without incident. Oh, yay. Okay. So here we are. And I'm going to go in my photos. I'm going to get photo, browse to my computer. We do all this on the right-hand side of the screen. I saved the screenshot to my desktop. I'm going to bring that in. And then I can just plop it right on the page. Now, I don't want to start on the title page, if you will. I want to start on page two. And I'll definitely be working in a two-page spread today. Um, but for now, I'm just going to plop my sketch right onto the page. Okay. So it doesn't have... Oh, that's the wrong one. For the love. Um, hold please. Goodness. Sometimes you just feel messier than others. This is one of those days. <clears throat> I don't know how I grabbed the wrong one. I swear I grabbed the right one. I wonder if I just grabbed the wrong thing at my desktop. No, there's definitely only, oh, no, here it is. All right. Only mostly losing it today. 
one thing's for one thing's exciting. I had to go to the doctor this morning. My blood pressure is usually sky high and it was low. It's really bad when you're used to your blood pressure being so high that when it's it wasn't low, it was like normal. But I was like, whoa, that's not right. Um, but right now my blood pressure is probably high. <laughs> That's all this digital craziness. And usually I find this so relaxing. Okay, so we've got our sketch up. And basically, I'm just going to use this as a guide to build my page. I'm going to get my photos now that I have my sketch here. And that I put on a, a retreat to the lake. And so because it was um, the National Scrapbook Day kits are kind of like a citrus theme, well, wouldn't you know it, my retreats in Lakeland are citrus theme because that is the heart of um, citrus land in Florida. And so, and it's just, it's a fun, we all dress in bright citrusy colors and it's really fun. So now that I have this, I'm going to go to my view and I'm going to switch it to two separate trim pages and you do that up on the top of your screen under the view tab and um, if you have any questions um, while I move along you can ask because those that are watching it in the future um, may have the same they have, may have the same questions so I'm looking for two four by fours and um, a four by six and so I'm going to go up here to insert and I'm going to do an empty frame they come out as squares and if you look right above the screen right above this ruler it says Y and then it says W4 and H4 so that's your width and your height so just by clicking this empty frame button you're going to get two four by fours then I'm going to add a third one and I'm just going to stretch this now up to six and the number is going to change at the top of the screen now that says 6.22 i can go up here and i can just type a six and enter and now i have a four by six so um let me go back here to the view and switching it to two separate pages and i need to bring this to the top so basically i need I'm going to go back to my view and change it to all so that I'm just looking at one page and that way I can kind of move my design guide off to the side so that I can see better what the heck I'm doing until I get to the part, where, the fun part where I'm plopping things in. So now I'm just aligning up those, um, those three photos. Now if I hold the shift key and select them all, I can come up to the top under the format tab and just give them a light shadow. Just click the light at the top of the screen and now there's a light shadow so now I can see where, the, where they are. Now my design guide, if I zoom in here, says 12 by one and a half. So there's a 12 by one and a half strip, a 12 by two inch strip, and then another 12 by two inch strip. Now this 12 by two, if you're working in paper, really doesn't need to be the full length. But in order, I mean, we can just insert a, and we go up to the insert tab, and then I'm gonna insert um, a shape, and it has a little paw print, but that's really, I usually use it for mostly rectangles and um, circles. So I don't want it to have an outline. So I'm going to switch that to none. And so right now it's just a blue, whatever you can hit create. It's like five by five, but it's going to re we're going to resize it to whatever we want. So we want it to be a half inch by 12. So I'm going to do 0 0.5 in that height box up above and then 12. And then when I hit enter, I'm going to get my half inch strip. I'm going to just copy and I do that with control C and then control V or you can right click on it and copy and paste. And now I'm going to do a 12, a two inch piece. Up here it says it's 1.92. 
Now, because it's digital, I can shorten it up. I don't need to put it behind um, this photo. Now I can control C, control V, paste, copy and paste that again and drag it out to this length. So now I've got this bottom piece here. I have a 12 by two, a 12 by half, and another 12 by two. Now these little dots, they're all just embellishments. And then I've got my title. And so that's really it for the paper. Okay, now from here, you can do a couple things. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert a mirror image since I'm in there. Okay, so. I'm going to keep this off to the side. Here's the paper I need for this page. I'm going to look at my page view and you'll get a little arrow if you hover over the right side of your page in page view. And if you click on it, you're going to get five different options. Insert one or more blank page, insert a pre-designed page, duplicate this page, insert a mirror image of this page or remove this page. We are going to insert a mirror image of the page. It's going to, it asks us if we want to save and here's my mirror image. Now they see how they swapped. So, so I'm back. Oh, we it's kind of a mirror. So on the right page, this is going to come. That's going to come down. Save all those pages. Hold, please. Okay. So now I'm over on the other side and see my, um, my design guide is kind of right in the middle of things. So I'm going to shrink it up and move it over. So here is my mirror image of the page. And so now I'm working on this. But you see how this little piece kind of switched down. So they're all going to align with the same um, up here at the half inch. So I'm going to move that up. And then this goes here. And then let me move this up to the top. That's annoying. Um, then what I need to do is add another uh, four by six photo. So insert empty frame. Here's this. And I'm going to stretch this to six. I overshot that. So I'm going to say six. Okay. And now that's there. Now this one has a mat. So you can do a mat a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you that right now. You can either just add a piece of paper, like we have these blue pieces of paper. And if it's confusing and you can't see where one starts and one ends, you can come up here to the top corner right above the uh, ruler on your screen and click on solid color and you can pick any old color. If that makes it easier for you to see what on earth you're doing. Because we're going to fill them all with paper here in just a second. So you can either control C, control V, add another little piece of paper, dial it in to whatever you want. And then over here on the left hand side, you just need to move it below your paper piece. Okay, so that's one way to make um, to make a frame. You also can right click on that or on that photo, come up to um, the photo tab, which is the second to last tab next to view. And then you're gonna see a map button. And hopefully you can see that up in the top. It's in this last section under frames. And if you click on that, it goes to a default, which is a 2.7 width. So on the little slide bar on the right side of your screen, you control your width. Um, and you can also decide on your matte fill. You can do a solid color. You can do a color gradient. You can choose from an art kit. So that means you can fill it with paper. You can do all the, all the things. Um, you can even change the way the frame is if you want it to be the uh, like a different cut where the papers behind or the papers in front. Um, so these are your different looks up here. And um, well, so Deb, 
when you do it this way, when you add the frame from the frame menu, it's actually already grouped. If you just throw a piece of paper behind it, it's just a separate element. And so you can group them if you're going to be moving them around. Um, but if you're you know, not going to be moving them too much, you can select them together and move them around together. And then when you have them where you want to go, let it go. So, um, so it's up to you. In this program, there's usually about three different ways to do anything you want to do. So whether it's a right click or it's up on the menu or it's on the little quick menu. Um, so it's just whatever it's a uh, scrapper's choice. So I'm going to go back in here to Matt and um, I'm just going to go back to, I'm going to remove the mat. There's all kinds of, um, I just went to customize. You can add different uh, effects to it. So um, you, there's, 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 so, there's endless, endless things to do. Why did that not go away? Okay. So I got rid of the mat and I'll just fill that paper. All right. So now we're just kind of ready to to decorate. And if you want to keep this off to the side, you can kind of shrink it down as a reference. But now that the basic layout is there, I would suggest you come up to view and view it as a two page spread. The save can take just a second when you are in the two page, because when you switch back and forth, um, it, uh, it saves. See, now I'm clicking and this is over here. So I'm gonna just delete that from that side. And now when I click over here, you can see the highlight changes on the right side. So you know what page you're working on because you do have to be clicked on to the page um, to be working on it, even though you can see both at the same time. Hopefully that makes sense when I say that. All right, so now let's go to our content. And it was NSD 2023. Please excuse the content. Mm, I feel like a glutton going through all this content. All right. So here is 2023 NSD. And here are the papers. And then if I go to embellishments, I have no idea why it says there's no embellishments. Well, um, let's add the papers and we'll come back to that in a second. Oh, I need our photos. Let's add our photos in. So I'm going to switch over to the photo tab. Now this picture down here, I'm going to put our far away group shot. Um, the selfie that I took of everyone in their bright citrus colors. And then for these other ones, I thought I would add um well i'm gonna add well this one is a swan and the hotel is across the lake and then i've got pictures of everyone in their colors um we we took photos by color so there's like the turquoises and the greens and there are the yellows now I got to click over here to switch to this page. And here are the coral colors. And oh, the pinks. We need the pinks. Lots of pinks. And then we've got one more group shot, which is a little closer up. We can actually see um, faces. Now, What's great about digital, I think, is that you can uh, tweak as needed. So this picture is kind of more of a square. Um, so I can do a couple things. I can just take it down like this and just make it a square. Um, this, These pictures over here, the pink, there's a lot more pink, less yellow. 
um, ladies. <laughs> so I'm going to swap this. I'm going to throw the yellow group in here. And then I can just take this picture and slide it this way and make this one a little bit larger since there were a lot of, there were just more people in pink. So even though those two pictures are kind of taking up the same amount of speed, uh, space as the, um, the designer intended, I can make it work on my page um, for, my, for my layout. So for this one, I can just drag this one all the way over and over here, of course, I need to switch and put the orange, the orange group over here. And then I can zoom in and slide over and that looks good. Now I can add my paper into here. So I've got, um, oh, that is still the picture. Get rid of that. Let me come to my content. That green is fun. This green might be fun for the background. It says mini sun. This is kind of a pale yellow. Let's, let's try the pale yellow as the background. I'm going to right click on it and say make it the background. Oh, I didn't see those stripes. Um... I'm not sure how I feel about stripes. Maybe these lemons. Make this the background. Now with this, I can actually come up to arrange and I can flip it so that these um, so that the lemons are off the side. Now it's kind of sad that those lemons are a little um, covered up. So I'm going to go and make this the background and now I'm going to fill this piece and this piece with the lemons so I'm going to say fill selected shape and then I'm going to see the lemons and I'm going to take this chunk right here up at the top and say okay and now here's the lemons but I want them on the left side so I'm going to do like this now I could have saved myself a bunch of time. I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom, but I'm gonna take a different section of the lemons and say, okay. I could have saved my time if I built, um, if I built this page first and then did the mirror, then all of the backgrounds and the papers that I'm doing right now would just automatically go over. So for this one, let me see how this looks. I might just fill it with a solid color and I might just sample. Uh, it doesn't really, I feel like it's not really necessary. Maybe, so I'm gonna do solid color up in this fill in the top, top left of by the measuring. And I'm gonna sample kind of this, a darker the lime here. I, th I don't know. I think I like that better. What do you think? Now, like I said, normally I would have saved myself time by just mirror imaging the um, this page right now. But just for the sake of going through the process again, um, to sh to show you, I'm going to, I'm going to do it again. So this white section is going to be, I'm um, going to uh, say, make it the background. And since there is a pattern, you see how the pattern repeats over here. I like to, when I put the same picture or the, the same paper as my background, I like to actually flip it up and rotate so that it's a mirror image. Um, so that it, it doesn't, it's not look, doesn't look like the same paper across the page. Now for this one, I'm going to go to fill up here on the left, um, top right above the word welcome. And I'm going to click solid color. Now it remembers the last color I used. So I'm going to select that dark green. Now for this one, I'm going to basically 
try to pick this uh, near the same section that I did of this paper. So I'm going to say fill selected shape with this lemon paper over here. And I'm going to take this piece, say, okay. So now I've got that. And then this gray piece behind here, I'm going to fill it with this paper because it is actually, um, it has a print, a speckled print to it. So I'm just going to fill it with the, with the, the print. So this really could be one long piece. Um, and I'm just going to change my mind and do that. So see how that gets stretched? Not to worry. We're going to refill it now that I've made that a bigger piece. And I'm just going to pick this section right here. Say okay. And then now we have that. Now it's on top of our swan picture. So we're going to switch that. Now I just need to decide what color to fill this mat and I'm going to do it the same color as this green that I've been using. Okay, so everything is filled in. Page is created. Now I added, um, I don't love that we can see the stairs and whatnot over here. It is a little squishy that looks better I close. and although we won't be returning here we will be back there again this is a lovely well and I know that it's um, one that you guys like now this is personal preference as far as if you add a shadow to, to all of the pieces. And because the shadows really just make you make it look like it's um, like it's a uh, paper on. So I'm gonna go through and select all my photos and the mat, not the background pieces for this one, and just give them a light shadow. Here, the dark shadow, I, the heavy shadow, you can see what that looks like. And I, I just prefer a light shadow. All right, so the page is basically laid out. Now, all I need to do is add the content. Now, I don't know what happened during the import of my embellishments. And for the fear of really um, messing something up over here, you can't mess it up, but I don't know why I'm not seeing. Um, I don't know why I'm not seeing my stuff. Here's, um, here's all the embellishments. I don't know why I'm not seeing them. Here they are right here. probably have to reboot the computer or something. Maybe it'll just magically be there when I go back here. Oh, I like magic. Okay. So to look back at our, um, our sample here, I'm just going to preview that. Um, which image size? Oh, my, my images, my photos, Deb, or are you talking about embellishments? You will get a warning if the pickles, pickles, if the pixels are too, um, if the pixels are too low. Okay. So I need a long strip, a long strip, a long strip. Okay. So strip, 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 strip. Got it. Um, so you can, Oh, because these are just four by four. So when you think about it, when you're taking a photo, I mean, you never have to worry about pixels when it's um, like when it's that small. So if you were going 12 by 12, if you were doing the whole page, you might get an error that maybe your, your photo can't support that. 
Um, if what you mean is because what happened to the lemon, like the lemon got distorted, that's because on uh, when you fill the, the page, the aspect ratio is locked. And so on the photos, it's unlocked. So you can actually stretch them to however you want. And it doesn't, um, since the aspect ratio isn't locked, it's not going to stretch people and make people all weird looking. Um, you can stretch it to your heart's content. I actually like that kind of big. Yep, as long as you um, are in, you know, either drop a photo, because you can also just drop a photo on a page like this and then resize it and, and see how I'm resizing it. No one's getting stretched. It's moving the, the photo within the box and then you grab the center thing and can adjust it. And then you've got the magnifying glass to zoom in. So as long as it's a photo box, you can do that. If you, if you fill a photo with like in a paper spot in a shape, then you're kind of locked into that and you would have to re redrop it to re to reset it. Um, this looks, this looks, I don't know. I maybe am pivoting back to this the more I'm playing. That's a picture of the, I might try to fit <laughs> now, now I'm really, um, let me see. We can all fit in there. So that's, that's a nice big, um, photo of everyone. Switch over to this. If you double click on an image, it will go big like that for you where it's an embedded image. Um, maybe I'll just stick with the yellow and green group over there. Here's a, here's a, here's a drawback to digital. Um, a drawback to digital would be that you have endless amounts of tweaking. And so never has the phrase done is better than perfect been more applicable than with digital because you can just keep, you can just keep tweaking. Now, I don't know, this is like a, that's a lemon. And sometimes it's easier to just drag it over to see what it is and then decide, oh, that's fun. All right, I'm gonna delete this and this. What's this? All right, I'm gonna turn this around. That might be fun for the bottom, so it's not this name. So now I can just control V, control C. And now up here, right above the six and seven, I'm turning it. Now this, if I hold the shift key while I resize, it'll keep the aspect ratio. If I don't, then see how it gets all squishy and you try to move it. So when you plop an embellishment on the page, the aspect ratio is not locked. So you can either right click on it and go down to aspect ratio and lock it, or you can hold the shift key and the shift key will do the opposite of whatever it is. And by that, I mean, if it's unlocked, like in this case, when you hold the shift key and grab a corner, then it locks it. If you were to lock it, and that is a preference in the settings. You can have it be unlocked or locked. Um, if you, now this piece here, I need to drag under, under here. Okay. Um, if it's, I like it unlocked. And then I just grab the shift key to tweak it. 
And I'm going to come over here. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag this over, come up to the top here, rotate it, and put it here. And then control C, control V, and then spin it around. And that goes up there. And then I'm going to just copy from this other page. Let me put these, make sure they're going down. Um, I'm just going to copy these lemons from over here so that the size is the same. Control C, and then I have to make sure I'm clicked on this page. Control V or paste. And then I can add that under there. Now, if you want to add, if, if you prefer there be some space around here, we can come back up to the photo and add a mat and then dial that mat down so that it's just super thin. Okay. See you, Casey. Um, and now I have a super thin uh, mat. There we go. Just to add some, some separation. I'm just going to add that and take it down. And now all I have to do is finish adding the embellishments. And And journal, which I won't bore you with the journaling, but well, let's find some some good um, life's juicy moments. Cute, love this, and then it's got a yellow heart. Squeeze me, zesty. That's fun. Sunshine and smiles. Hello, sunshine. What's that? <laughs> you want to you want to see me journal? Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. Love this. Now I'm holding the shift key to resize this. Love this, and I'm just kind of layering it over. I will want to go to format and give it a light um, shadow. I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and add a title up here. So up on the top under, um, under insert, we're going to say insert text. Here's the text box comes up. You can put it where you want it, but you need to, when you, before you create it, you can type over here. So this is retreat to the lake, whoops. And before you create it, you can go ahead and change your font, but you can also just go ahead and create it. And then you can change everything up here above, um, you know, above the um, ruler up here. So this gives you access to all of the fonts that are on your computer. I also have a font issue. I'll be the first one to admit that. So I like this, I like happy camper. So I'm gonna come over here and say make that 40 or 48. Then you can resize it to fit, whoops, undo. No, there's no font please, thank goodness. <laughs> I'd, I'd be in trouble. Um, so that says retreat to the lake. Then I can copy and paste. Now, sometimes when you paste, you see where it pasted? It pa pa pasted way over here to the side. I don't know why. But if you know you pasted it and you see it over on the side, sometimes you just have to back out and go look for it. Now, I'm going to switch the font on the date to something um, just more simple. Where's my... And then I'll go this, probably drop it in half. And this is at 
um, the Terrace Hotel on Lake Mirror. And that's in Lakeland. I'm going to do Lakeland, Florida on a different line. So I say, OK, Terrace Hotel. Maybe I make that bold. And now I, I did control. I'm going to control C and control V just to copy this whole thing. So control C, control V. You can see it added over here on the left, but where did it go? Here it is. It's way over here. I'm going to drag it over and I can zoom back in and call it Lakeland. Okay. And then maybe I add a slice of lemon. Now our theme that weekend was squeeze the day. And I am surprised that that isn't one of the um, embellishments. So I'm going to say format, light, and give that a light. Um, and then I'll actually just copy this text box, paste it. It's way over here again. Come on, little friend, back over here. And then I can go ahead and journal down here, double click, and then I can just type in June. 2022 memory maniacs made well, down <laughs> like blend um oh on the lake good good question there's gonna because lakeland it doesn't like lakeland and if you're unsure of why it has it if you float over it it'll tell you it says that there are spelling errors and so when you click double click on it it will underline what it thinks is misspelled and the Lakeland is underlined. So if you right click on it, it will give you suggestions or you can add it to the dictionary. And then if you add it to the dictionary, that will go away and, um, and that won't happen. So as soon as I clicked on this, because then Lakeland had been added, then the, that went away on the bottom one too. Um, so yeah, some, some people, you know, it might be their kids' names or something. Ugh. Why can't I find a period? I'm going to stretch this so it's just on one side. Um, so then you won't get those errors. But I also, to be honest, I just ignore them. No, the, the exclamation point will not print. That's just for that's just for you. And you'll get the same thing. Let me click over here because this is a big photo and zoom in. I mean, it's letting me go all the way. It won't even let me go any bigger. I was trying to make. OK, see how I made the swan picture giant and now it says low pixel count may affect print quality. So you'll get that error if you try to make a, a photo too big. Um, and it's not, you know, appropriate. Okie doke. Well, now we hit save. That's important. And it's time to do our drawing. Alrighty. And so I apologize for going a few minutes over there. Um, because um, I had some, you know, tech, tech gremlins as usual. So let me go ahead and share, um, our giveaway here and let's do our, 
let's do our winner. All right, Faith, congratulations. And I assume, are, are, you, are you still on? Hopefully you are. Um, and um, if Faith is still on, she can let me know. She just said she wanted the silicone mat, and so she might want to apply it to that. Yay, so congratulations, Faith. Um, is that what you want to use it for? Um, you can use it for the sil uh, toward your silicone mat and the other adhesives. And so that reminds me, yes, yes, absolutely you can. Um, that reminds me to remind you that if there's anything, um, any of those new adhesive things, the strong grip, the empty uh, tape containers, I'll post the pictures. Look for the pictures a little bit. Um, for that to get your last minute orders in. And I will on the photos mention how many I have available. Um, most of them, if not all of them at this point are sold out. And of course it's after one. So they, that deal is gone. But those of you um, that follow me on Facebook and YouTube, you can, um, if you purchase those, you'll be entered for the drawing for those pens and stickers. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed your uh, Techie Tuesday design along and um, hopefully you'll use that as a reference when you have questions designing your page. And until I see you ladies again, stay scrappy my friends. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.